You see that guy laughed away, he laughed. I laugh in Swahili. I laugh in a quiet but I laugh in a and I laugh in a tumble so. <laughs> you know, an Irish, one philosopher just said, he said something. He said, decency renders all things tolerable. Another one said, decency and tolerance to be of any value must be capable of withstanding the severest strain. <clears throat> It's a severe strain, you know, severe strain. But oh yes, my name is Ede Dangote, aka Dongla Kibubra de Kumsa, aka Yoni of this Tabernacle. If this is your first time on this channel here yeah, right now, as I'm talking to you right now, please just subscribe, like, and share. It will add like more ten years to the years that you, Baba God, eh, want to give you in this life. I tell you something, it won't take any data out of from you. Just to like and share, so that the ministry will move to the permanent side. Oh yes, you know in this tabernacle, I used to bring you good news from the inner cocoa. That's why the man say, make a tell them the cocoa, make a yand them the cocoa. You see. I first of all gave you a quote about decency. Decency. You don't want me to talk about decency. Look at this dog. I first of all gave you a quote about decency. Hmm? And now you can hear it. Just just listen to what the only of this tabernacle want to talk about. Queen. Yes, sir. Queen. Have you seen? Am I not decent? You are decent. Am I not Oh boy, sometimes you marry plenty of women, so it's confusing. Oh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, an audience now you see that Ronnie is confused now <laughs> because he don't have work. That is why they talk that, that youthful age at time is is is, is affecting. Oh, look at Ronnie. For those of you that are saying that he's marrying plenty, he's not good. He's not good. He's not good. Are you seeing the joy in him? The mic that he passed to him was a woman. <laughs> you understand? No wonder in the Bible. You see, no wonder in the Bible, women are very respected. It's just this generation that don't understand that Oni is fulfilling his ministry. In the Bible, the first woman that anointed Jesus Christ like, was not a woman. Okay, in the Bible, the first person that, that disobeyed God was not a woman. In the Bible, the person that saved the spies was not a woman. And you said uh, Oni should not marry plenty. But the annoying part is that that party, that grooving, that very moment was not complete because the the thing that's, that make the, the party not to be complete was Naomi's call. <laughs> After uh, uh, Onidius asked those question, am I not this? The, the, the jobless and, and other people were just shouting because they were jobless at that point in time. How can a king be asking such, such question? That told you that Last time I told you something that ah the elders are not happy with the way Oni is going about. How can you be playing caricature with women? You marry plenty, we complain, we do not complain. Now you are asking them question: Am I not decent? Oka Oni, you are a very decent man. You are fulfilling prophecy. You know Bible talks: Go into the wall and multiply, fill the earth. So when Naomi saw that thing, she just looked at him and said, Ah, thank God in heaven, oh. You know that song they used to say, Thank God, God, no man, for if man be God. She said, Thank God I left. Everybody would have cut would have categorized us now as one team. And be asking questions, Am I not decent? Oh God, you are decent, oh, you are nice, so oh, you are a nice man to recall. You see why I, I keep talking about you that you are a very nice guy. 
for those people that are thinking that uh, Oni is not nice, Oni is not happy. Uh, if you marry plenty wife, you won't have peace. You won't have your in your family. You can see it. You can see it from yourself. So that it, <laughs> it depends on people. Some people are complaining that uh, why will why will he ask such question? Okay, it is to ask because as a as a married man who is as a as as a married king who is polygamous i don't know what is polygamous in nature that is affecting this man right now that will be asking all those kind of thing if you just sit on one place that is do your 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 your, your yeast with your woman you now come out and be asking them am i not decency is not something that you ask for it's not something you ask. You allow people to use you based on what you are doing. You have been decent to marrying one, marrying two, marrying three. It's, it's very, very correct. Very, very correct. We did not talk anything about it though. But my annoyance now is, why would you ask such question? You could have waited. Because he, he remember he said that his love for Naomi knows no boundary, that the chemistry is very strong. At least you could have allowed the queen the queen of the queens to be there to ask this question. She's the only person that can tell you categorically an open-minded person that she is, a prophetess. She could have told you the truth, whether you are decent or not. Those ones that are doing, they are just cajoling you. I am telling you the, the gospel truth. They are, they are just cajoling you to tell you that, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 just casting cruise. But it's fun to be with lovely people. You know, sometimes beauty is confusing. No wonder they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. As I'm talking to you right now, people that love Naomi, they have started talking. I say, thank God. Thank God, oh, that this beautiful, pretty lady would have sat down with these people that are jobless and be, and be saying, oh, yes, oh, yes. Say, thank God she hasn't even left to San Francisco, self. That is good for them. Let us stay there in their tabernacle and be doing their thing. After the palace self, what does it profit her? Because even if she's in the palace now, they won't allow her to be doing a prophet, a prophet, uh, prophecy here. The call that God have called her. So the, the, the Naomi fans now are very happy that thank God our queen is not involved. <laughs> you know that they said wisdom is profitable to direct. I know that some, some lady will, will be happy to, to be in the midst of all these, all these people that are saying, eh, oh yes, are you not this? Are you, are you? Oh yes, group. But thank God that Queen Naomi was just watching them from afar. She saw it in the spiritual realm and said, look at them. So this is what I would have been doing now. I would have sat down, sat, sit down with these people now and be saying, oh yes, oh yes. It's just like you're asking children in, in uh, Christ. Say A, hey, they say A, hey. B for a, a bubble, C for a couple, D for a double. In fact, I'm just flabbergasted right now. But you know the funny thing is that there was joy. That is the joy I have now, that there was joy in that tabernacle. You can see that Oni was full of joy. Kai! But I'm not advising you to marry plenty people, though, because, you know, if you, if you don't have the capacity, just like Oni has the capacity, that's why he's always happy. He's always happy with women surrounding him. Kai! You know that, you know that song that they sang? Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children shall run your table. This one, this only owner is another ver version. Your marriage shall, shall be a blessing. Your wives shall run your table. You shall see your double concubine. <laughs> you see, you see, I told you that I don't, I don't only have one ability. I have en en enough talent. Very soon down, I and Oni, we're going to release one album. I keep telling you and telling you the gospel truth. If you want this ministry to move to the permanent side, always like, share, and subscribe. Face your front. I face my front. I don't come out here. <laughs>